Hello and welcome back to our second episode of our Spirit Tea Let's Play. <laughs> so I did switch to mouse and keyboard because I, first of all, I was struggling trying to figure out the controls for the controller. And second of all, I could not figure out for the life of me how to get this stupid flute out of my backpack. Oh, it is back in my backpack. All right. E, boom so much easier and just to place it down press e again lord have mercy <laughs> so yes we do have to go to ascend the mountain real quick i want to put this crab back because i do not want to take up too much space the crab is cute but it gotta go it gotta go so we're letting it free <laughs> all right so on the east side of town Okay, let me open my map, take a look. So it looks like it may be over here. Yeah, okay. East side of town. All right, how is y'all's day going? I spent 20 minutes trying to figure out, hello, how to how to get that controller to work, so. Yeah, oh, it's sort of. It's nice living with Tara. I feel like I can learn so much about women from her. Oh, okay. Well, excuse me, Sora. This is Jillian, yeah, okay. I always like to meet people who do some sort of writing for work, unless they're pompous and dislikable. <laughs> okay, so she likes us, because we like to read. All right, uh, is it here that we're going up? Stairs on the east side of town. Okay, yep. Uh, we'll just keep going up. Okay. Got a little something, something going on. Temple, oh, very overgrown. Very, very overgrown. But it's huge. This is, well, used to be a bathhouse for spirits. They would come from far and wide to enjoy the purifying waters of the mountain. Spiritual people such as yourself used to look after the spirits and run the bathhouse. But it's not all for, for charity. <laughs> but it's not all for charity. The spirits would in turn offer some of their wealth they received from their shrines throughout the world. But as you can see, the bathhouse has been abandoned. The last bathhouse bathhouse keeper was specifically a girl. I don't know if that's what it said. I'm so sorry. <laughs> some some S word. I don't know. In fact, she used to live in the in the house you've just moved into. That is creepy. That is creepy. <laughs> Though I don't know how long she's been gone. Oh my God, that's actually really creepy. Why is it gray around? The spirits need you to become the next keeper of the bathhouse. Otherwise, they'll become more and more lost and cause more and more havoc to the people of Sandville. Why me? Don't kid yourself. It didn't have to be you. Anyone with a lick of spirit spirituality would have would have done. Can I read today? Am I reading correctly? <laughs> but you did come, and you can help everyone, spirits and people alike. So you're in then. Good. Glad we're all on the same team. Then, if we're meaning to get this place up and running, we'll need to first open her up. If I'm not mistaken, I left the key with a spirit who has a fondness for sweets. Find the spirit and we'll find the key. Though, whether or not you'll be able to see the spirit is questionable. But we can deal with that later. For now, let's head to the place with a lot of sweet foods. A lot of sweet foods. First, first initial thought is the convenience store. So I'll try to make my way there just by myself. And we shall see. Because we have the convenience store. With a lot of sweets. I think it is over here. Because so I can't really think of any other place that would have a lot of sweets. Oh, who is this? This this person is walking with with some. Oh, is this? Oh, uh, this is um. Oh, what is his name? 
I forgot. I forgot. We gonna talk to you, good sir. Lee, Lee or Lay. <laughs> Song has all sorts of tasty veggies on sale in the spring. Nice to know. You know what's the worst? Ziploc bags. I can't for the life of me get those things to close properly. I just put whatever is inside and then roll it. <laughs> Honestly, me too, Moby. Me too. Okay. We are going to, is it up here? Is it up here? Willies. Um. Dang, y'all, is it over here? I thought I knew I was going. Well, it has been like three days since I last played. <laughs> Look, I know I said I was gonna record the next day, but a lot of stuff happened. I had my first therapy session that I had to, to had, that I had to attend to, and then by that time, okay, yeah. See, I'm so smart. By that time, it was too late for me to record, so. And that just went on and on. I've been kind, I've kind of been in a rump recently, so I'm trying to get out of that. But yeah. Anyways, hmm. This place looks promising. Try using your spirit vision now. The ancient teapot in your house infuses regular tea with spiritual properties. Use enter to peer into the spirit realm. All right, enter. Hey, not bad, mortal. You seem to be figuring it out pretty quickly. Yeah. <laughs> I did that so good. <laughs> now then, let's find the spirit. I see these two folk over here. No, no, that one. I haven't tried the one with the caramel yet. Ooh, that one is so good. Hey, check out this mortal. They almost look like they're watching. I knew I'd be able to find you if, if I thought with my stomach like you always do. It's the fuzz, let's cheese it. <laughs> What in the world? Don't just stand there, catch them. I'll use what little power I have to help you keep your spirit vision active so you can see them. Normally using spirit vision causes your spirit gauge on the right to gradually decrease. However, in this case, one yin is helping you by preventing the gauge from depleting. Under normal circumstances, drinking spirit tea and sleeping will, will replenish the spirit gauge. Okay, so the only way to replenish the gauge is to sleep. Gotcha, all right. Let's go, one yin. We got a car to catch. Wanya, where you at? Yes, I, I am running. Wanya is the one, anyways. Ugh, I don't lost the freaking car. Where's the car? Oh, there you go. Come on, Wanya. Oh man, this is a fast car. Oh, oh, oh. This probably looks so goofy. We gotta run. <laughs> oh my god. This car is so fast. What the heck? Oh man. I'm going all around town trying to catch this car. <laughs> what was that? <sighs> what are you doing, you lunatics? We just want to talk to you. Almost there! Almost there! Oh! Oh no! Gotcha! Whew. You better hope we don't catch you now. You've gone and ticked me off. <laughs> me too. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I did not want to talk to the cat. Oh, there we go. Fun times over in the clown car. Revert back now. Now. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you two? What? Who? One Yun? And which one of you peanut brains has the key to the bathhouse? Key. The key. I remember one Yun and the key. Oh. One of you better start talking. Oh my. What is going on? Oh. They're kind of cute. I have the key. I remember now. I'm called Fatherog. Uh, and I was known as Aram. Wan Yen. Oh, I'm so sorry I failed you, my lord. It seems I forgot who I was. But I never forgot your task for me. I've kept the key safe all of these years. 
Here, you must be the new keeper of the baths. Yeah, I guess. You got the bathhouse key. What? Why were you holding it up like that? <laughs> Can't everyone act normal for just a moment, please? <laughs> As for you two, this mortal here named Anna, correct? Has agreed to get the bathhouse up and running again. I expect to see much of you and your kind there regularly. Yes, of course, one young sir. We'll be there. With friends. <laughs> With friends, of course. <laughs> Stop, dude. <laughs> Gods be damned. Those fools gave us the runaround, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> well, whenever you're ready, let's head to the bathhouse on the mountain and see what condition she's in. Girl, I'm going to be so honest. She didn't look too good. She didn't look too good at all. Oh my god. Wanyan is already my favorite. What is going on? Who is this? Have we met this person before? We've had to, right? I don't know no Ito. Hmm, I don't recognize you. Are you new around here? Anyway, I'm Ito. I come to Stanville every other day to sell rare goods. Ah, so this is your... Oh, but we can't... Okay. I'm about to say, we don't know no Ito. But yeah, Wanyan is definitely... Oh. oh, we can donate wood? Interesting. Okay. Um, but yeah, so very entertaining is definitely how to explain that. <laughs> okay, let's head up to the bathhouse. Okay. Ooh, all right, let's go inside first look wow this is terrible look at the one little duck <laughs> ah yes this brings back memories <laughs> you have no idea how important this place is Anna the spirits around here are in bad shape you probably can't see most of them just yet but believe me when I say they're up to no good and unfortunately, it's the townsfolk who are suffering for it. Right. So, with those happy thoughts in mind, how about we start doing something about it? First things first, follow me. You got it, dude. You got it, boss. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Welcome to the bathhouse. It was built centuries ago and has served as a sanctuary for spirits ever since. One thing you've probably noticed is that you can see me without even using your spirit vision. It's not entirely known why spirits can be seen here, but it likely has something to do with the very rare tree that was planted in the courtyard of this of this structure. Why do I almost call it a sanctuary? God. Of this structure. Over time, the tree grew to enormous proportions and has exerted its special properties upon the building. Nanny 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 <laughs> say that anyway <laughs> enough of the history lesson you're here to keep the bathhouse running smoothly and to guide our essential essentially customers to their spots in the bath in the baths spirits will pay you depending on their bathing experience which can be affected by many things including follow me oh creepy but cool including water temperature this is the boiler for all the baths in the room above us you have to keep this thing burning so the baths can stay hot okay your source of fuel for this baby is right here cut a chunk of this tree root for fuel hold e when facing the saw to cut oh it's oh it's literally right here So, does it just regrow? Like, <laughs> oh wow, that's huge. And voila, the tree magically regrows its roots. Okay, that's actually really cool. I was just wondering about that. I'm sure the tree doesn't like you doing this. Bathhouse keepers have cut this same root over and over for centuries. And this is just a hunch, but it seems like the tree is doing just fine. Yeah. 
Nie, 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 nie. <laughs> One thing to note is that this root's ability to regrow depends on the spiritual presence of this whole area. What I mean is, the more spirits we track down and smack sense into, the more healthy the spirit tree becomes. Which means more roots were growing, and therefore more moologs. If you don't see the, if you don't see the root regrowing, then you'll probably have to wait. I'm sure it'll be regrowing again after you slept or something. Okay. Anyway, throw that log and one more into the boiler, and then come meet me upstairs. Oh man, I feel like this is my boss. <laughs> but that's so cool. It just regrows its roots. I mean, it looks like we have a lot of work cut out for us, that's for sure. Alright, so my question is, do we need to continue to get, like, tea leaves from Te Tifa? I almost said Tara. Tifa. <laughs> In order to get to drink more tea? Or what? I don't know. Good work. I'm glad to see you can follow simple instructions. With your work ethic and my brains, we can have this place running in no time and making lots and lots of moon logs. <laughs> anyway, do you see this shrine here? It shows you the bath temperatures. If you see the temperature dropping, then you better head to the boiler and load it up some more. Good. Now it's almost time to ring the bell and let the spirits in. But first, we need to make sure we've got some clean towels to let the spirits use. Spirits need towels? Spirits need- Of course they need towels! What kind of shoddy bathhouse are you planning on running here? <laughs> Come on, let's see if there are any towels still. If we're lucky, they won't be too moldy. I want to check this out. So if it's just- Okay. Um... Ew, moldy towels. Check that towel box for dirty used towels. When spirits are done with their baths, they will leave their towels in the box on their way out the door. As you might have guessed, use E while facing the towel bin to check for towels. Oh, wow. Good, there's some towels left. Some, there's a ton. Let's go get them cleaned up. This way. Oh, man. I'm essentially just the... Is it, wait, okay, honestly, though. Is this what typical bathhouse... Um, I guess employees are like like this is what they have to do because this is a lot of work all right i guess just oh we have to talk to one yun first welcome to the washing or er, kitchen i suppose we never did come up with a name for it let's just call it the prep room i like that as you can see things here have also become quite overgrown and unusable fortunately that's not the case for the wash tub and heating vents Throw the used towels into the wash tub and give them a good scrub by holding down E. Keep washing until you've cleaned at least four of them. Okay. So here, I assume. Scrub a dum dum. Scrub a dum dum. Okay. Excellent. Now, take those wet towels and start hanging them over the heating vent. Remember, towels will only dry if you've got warm air flowing through the vent. If you're not burning in the, any wood in the boiler, then the towels won't dry. Yet another reason to keep the boiler topped up. Okay. So it looks like we definitely have tasks to do. <laughs> the towels will take some time to dry, so it's important to be as efficient as possible. There are always things you can be doing while running the bathhouse. Keeping the boiler hot, cleaning towels, cooking for spirits. When you've hired someone to clean this area up. Scrubbing spirits with a brush. Did I read that right? Did it say scrubbing spirits, right? Anyways, all these things will affect a spirit's happiness and therefore affect how many moologs they will leave you and they will leave you in things. Piece of cake, right? Right. <laughs> oh, come on. A little hard work is good for you. It builds character. Right. Let's bring those dry Yeah. <laughs> right. Let's bring those dry towels to the bathhouse entrance. I mean you. You bring the towels. I, I kind of figured that. One and thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Man. Okay, so... Is Moologs kind of like the spirit's form of money? Or what? Because I'm doing this work for free, essentially. Are they dry? 
No visible mold? Perfect. Drop them over on this green bamboo map. When spirits visit the bathhouse, they will automatically grab a towel from this bamboo towel, from this bamboo towel zone. Make sure you do your best to always have some fresh towels for the spirits to use. Alright, I think we're ready. Ring this bell to open the bathhouse up to spirits. Oh my god, why am I nervous? It should only be those two, right? Right on time. You've got your first guest. Take their towel from them and lead them to our only bath that is currently ready. One thing to keep in mind, if you ever don't want to see the particular spirit, you can always bring the towel back to the entrance. The spirit will leave on their own. I don't recommend doing this often though. Not if you want to make moologs anyway. But there will be times when a spirit is too large for your bath, or might ruin the bathing experience you've created. In those cases, just give them the boot and they'll come back later. Anyway, grab the spirits, grab this spirit's towel and seat them in the bath. Chop chop! Oh wow! They're really, they're really, uh, get, getting to it. And that's just, just about all there is to, oh, okay. And that's just, oh, man, I'm struggling today. <laughs> and that's just about all there is to it. You can tell a spirit's move when standing near them. A happy face means their happiness is improving, whereas an angry face means their happiness is on the decline. Once you've seated a spirit in a bath, they're in there for the duration of their stay. This means if you place a spirit next to a spirit they dislike, then you won't be making as much money as you could be. You could remedy, remedy this by making an extra effort to improve that spirit's mood. Back scrubbing, giving food, adding elixirs to the water, or if you're busy, you can just accept the blunder and move on. The most important thing to know about running a spirit bathhouse is this. Spirits all belong to a particular season. Spirits enjoy, spirits enjoy sitting near spirits from the, from the season after theirs. Oh my god, this is so much to remember! <laughs> wow, okay. On the other hand, spirits dislike sitting near spirits whose season is opposite their own. But any season is opposite of the other. I don't- what? Anyways. <laughs> Confused? Ugh, you would be. Must have a peanut for a brain. Onion. Oh my god. Okay, how about this? If I recall correctly, the two spirits we chased around town were spring and fall spirits. So you probably don't want to sit them near each other. Figuring out which spirits belong to which season will take a bit of trial and error. Or wait, you might be able to consult the old spirit information tomes, but those have likely been buried for centuries. There's one thing... There's one thing Nyai should mention. Come here for a second. I'm like, we've just been talking over this spirit's head, like. I noticed it when the previous bathhouse keeper was taking care of the place. The ancient tree that grew out of the courtyard of this bathhouse seems to react to how pleased the spirits are when they leave after their bath. In this tree root grows more and more spirits leave after having a fulfilling bath. It's possible something important might happen when the tree root grows to a certain length. No, I don't know. I'm usually more focused on how much money the spirits leave us. I'm not surprised. Isn't that, isn't that money that he's floating on? <laughs> okay, I'll leave you to figure out things on your own. Ring the bell again if you want to close the bathhouse. Spirits will still pay you, but not as much as, uh, spirits will still pay you, but not as much as if you let them enjoy their whole bath undisturbed. If you're tired, you can always go home and sleep, which saves the game, whatever that means. <laughs> oh, and don't forget to collect your earnings from the money pot by the front entrance when you're done working. Woo! Okay, so, recap. And look at him just sitting there all cute. I can't. Alright, so, recap, recap. So we need to keep, oh, and see, we need to keep this, this fire going, so we need to constantly be making sure that there's wood in the boiler. So we're gonna go ahead and get at least three, or wait till it regrows. Yeah, it seems like it's going back a little bit slower. But okay, and we also need to make sure there's always towels. Let's go ahead and lead this guy over here. 
Oh, his thingy went down. Hmm, okay. So let me test something out. Since there, oh, he's a big boy. Okay, yeah. So they're good. They're good. So I guess if if they're two, if they're these guys, then they can't be by each other. Okay, sorry. I wonder if it's okay to put them across from each other because he said just next to them was a no-no. Okay, cross. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Can you lay down, please? Thank you. Okay. Oh, we need more towels. Oh, we don't have any more. Okay, let's check the prep room. Oh man, looks like that's it for the day. Okay. So... I'm not... Wait, how did they say to... Because how did it say that I was able to kick these guys? One you help. One you help. Don't just sit there and be cute! Alright, um... So his is going down. How do I scrub them? How do I give them some back scrubbies? Oh, it's pink now. Wait, it moved. That little dial moved. I don't know. Let's just go check. Okay, that's still good. I guess I'll just cut some more wood for now. that running oh the guy left okay oh my goodness I don't know how to make them happy okay it said to check oh gotcha gotcha all right so we're gonna go wash these What was that big bong? <laughs> oh my god, look at like how overgrown it is. And I also don't know when the bathhouse closes, so that would be great to know. Okay, I'll put those down there for now. Or can I put them in here? Okay, yeah. Man. I'm about to say, can I clean up a little bit around here? Dang, I don't, it won't let me. It won't let me, y'all. Alright, we'll just put that down for now. Alright. Still doing okay. Oh, he didn't- he left unsatisfied. Oh, man. Okay. Well, I'll just go ahead and take these. This little duck is so cute. Alright, that is our last guy. So we are supposed to let them just enjoy their bath. Now, okay, so I don't, I don't think the bathhouse closes. I don't think the bathhouse, the bathhouse closes. You just, con it just continuously runs. So I guess we can just go ahead and put these down. Guide you. Look at his little booty crack. <laughs> his little butt crack. All right. 
grab you. We'll put you here. Grab you. You're gonna be right here. Oh! <gasps> no! Dang it! Oh, I thought they were good. Whoa! That was a lot. Do you want to close the bathhouse and send the spirits away? Girl, yeah! It's 10 o'clock at night! <laughs> it's time to go to bed. <laughs> I need my rest. Oh, I see one you didn't follow me. Okay, so I need to have like a good balance between working and in my life, you know what I'm saying? I got to build some some friendships with these with these people. Oh, come over here, Anna. I've got something to show you. Come on. Okay. You see this board here? This is the town board. It's where the locals like It's where the locals like to post all kinds of things. However, more recently, I've noticed I've noticed them posting concerns that are very peculiar. Like what? I know this town is crawling with spirits and have a feeling that a lot of the concerns posted here could be linked somehow. It's probably a good idea to check this board out periodically. If my hunch is correct, and of course it is, then we'll be able to find many more potential customers for our bathhouse. No, seriously, because I'm barely struggling right now. <laughs> that was creepy. Cleaning tips needed. Stanville Vandal from Sujin and Moby. Okay, we will... I'm getting creeped out. <laughs> we will check that in the morning, but right now... We need to get some sleep. This has been a very overwhelming day, and we need some sleep. We need some rest. Woo! And I, aren't I a writer? Don't I already have a job? <laughs> what is going on? Okay, gives us a little, a little summary. Oh, bruh. Yeah, about time you got up. Listen up. I thought of something that can help you keep straight. I thought of something that can help you keep straight all of the weirdness going on in Stanville. Oh, you're huge. <laughs> I was thinking it might be a good idea to write down key information you've heard around town in your notebook. You know, you know, stuff that's more than likely related to spirits causing mischief. Here, start off by opening your backpack by pressing F. All right. Good. Next, try pressing C to switch to your notebook. Mm-hmm. You've seen this. What about it, sir? Oh, I'm not in my notebook. <laughs> I... Is that really your notebook? Are you sure you didn't steal it from a child? What is that supposed to mean? What? <laughs> anyway, whatever. Moby told us something about this bathtub growing strange plants. Ugh. Oh. Okay. You're good, girl. We're good. Moby told us... Moby told us something about his bathtub growing strange plant matter, right? Try flipping over to Moby's page in the notebook. You can flip to other pages by pressing A or D. Alright, here's Moby. Yep, we remember that. See? When a... When one of the locals tells you something that could be related to finding a spirit, that information will be recorded in this book. This way, you don't have to remember everything that is said to you. Perfect. <laughs> because, come on, let's face it. I've, uh, why are you so close, my guy? <laughs> I've, uh, seen brighter candles burning. I am offended. I don't appreciate this. I don't appreciate that at all. What the heck? In a rainstorm? Onion. <laughs> so rude. Anywho. You can close the notebook when you're done by pressing F. Nice and simple. Yeah, get out of here. So rude. 
Ugh. Anyways. Can I bathe? Shoot, I think I need to run me a hot bath. Yes. Run me a hot bath. Give me something to eat. I still don't know how to check my stamina bar. Oh, yes. I do want to leave the bath. Okay. Can we actually, like, use the toilet? Oh, okay. I just want to see, like, what can we can't... What can we and can we not do? Let's close... Let's close the door. Let, let's close the door. Open deposit close. Oh, this is storage. Gotcha. Deposit... No, we want that. We want that. Okay, so can we interact with this? Do you want to work on your book? Note, time will pass as you work. Okay, not right now. Let's let's work on our book on the weekends. Um Yeah. Just just so things could be easier. Do you want to add tea leaves to your teapot? I don't think I have any. Yeah, I just have my one little thing okay so this that's the back door i believe oh welcome to the cooking screen on the left side you have access to items stored in your backpack your storage trunk and your fridge oh okay on the right side you can find all the recipes you discovered so far the center shows the ingredients you, se you selected the cooking method you will use to combine the ingredients and the finished product at the bottom. To select ingredients, look at the recipes or mess around with the cooking setup. Simply move the cursor to a given area and press E. Press left shift to back out. Okay. I think what covers it? You can give cooked dishes to spirits while they are bathing to increase their happiness, but remember you need to, fi you need to first find the recipe for a dish before you can create it. Interesting, okay. And then we can store <laughs> Okay. So we can store things. Look at our cute fridge. <laughs> Close. Okay. All right, um, let's go talk to some townspeople. Oh my gosh, it is dark. Oh, it's, oh, it's nighttime. Wait, why is it nighttime? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, then yeah, let's work on our book. As you sit down to write, you reflect upon recent events. Oh, the culmination of all the experiences made for a productive writing session. Okay, um, let's go back to sleep. For one hour. Um. Okay. I mean, <laughs> I mean, what's really stopping us from opening up the bathhouse, you know what I'm saying? I think everything else is closed. Can we actually, this is so bad of me. Can we actually see them sleeping? while wow, you can. Okay, let's not do that. Um... Okay, yeah. Honestly, let's just go to the bathhouse. We are early morning birds, okay? Early, early, early. We gotta get a head start on things. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. Go ahead and get us a little jump start on the day. We're gonna 
go ahead and wash some towels first. Oh, now I'm feeling tired. Man, I try to go to bed. <laughs> I'm over here talking about some... Oh, man. Let's do this. Let's do that. Be a little bit too early for everybody. But it looks like Lee is out. Oh, this is Kenta. Whoops. <laughs> Orb of Rue is definitely one of my biggest inspirations to becoming a manga artist. I've got the whole series. Oh my god, I love manga too. Alright, let's see who else is out. Looks like we got some folk over here. Hello, kitty. Sujin. This one's pretty wild. I've traveled to so many countries, but this is a first for me. <laughs> Are you country, girl? <laughs> Uh-oh, did something happen? Uh-oh, it's right. At least for me it is. I'm gonna give her a country accent. Some scoundrels taking upon themselves to vandalize my precious boat. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's not nice. Okay, so yeah, I do... Okay, oh my god, there's so much I need to keep in mind. This is kind of crazy. So we can occasionally check up on that board. Both Amelia and I have our own secret family recipe books, but we haven't quite reached the point yet where we're willing to share all of our little secrets with one another. Okay, well let me know when you want to. Alright, you let me know. Look at these old men! Oh, look at these old men. The, he has to stand up on the chair in order to reach. <laughs> I, I, need to st <laughs> I need to stop talking bad about Quill. When do you ever work on that book of yours? Well, I did just, just last night, sir. I'll tell you that. Oh, this Clarence. Uh. Hey, make sure you keep your place clean and tidy there, Anna. Moby was telling me he was having issues with some, with some weird vegetation growing at his place. Yeah, he was. Okay. Anybody else we can talk to? There's Tifa. Okay, let's talk to this person. I forget who this is. Faye. Ugh. I like working outside in the spring. Okay. Let's go check the board. I think it was over here. Still learning the layout, guys. Still learning the layout. You're feeling exhausted. Your stamina is dropping. Oh! When you, okay, gotcha, gotcha. When you become exhausted, your stamina continuously drops. Stamina requiring actions such as running, digging, etc. Also use double the stamina they usually do. It is, good, it is a good idea to avoid becoming exhausted. You can prevent exhaustion by getting enough sleep. Sleeping at least 7 hours will push your exhaustion time to 16 hours after you wait. 10 and 5. Okay, well we can eat... Yes. Okay. All right, hey. Okay, now don't run. Don't want to run too much. Oh, look at these women. Miko and I are like two peas in a pod. It's nice to have a close friend at my age. Oh, there goes Young. <laughs> oh, you look wonderful today, Anna. Thank you. That's so nice. I'm about to say, I've seen Young come in here. Let's talk to Young. Young is daydreaming. Alright, well, I'll leave you to it, Young. Okay. Um, first, I do want to go do this. So, third floor of the apartment or at the coffee shop. Looks like he is in his apartment. I'm trying to look at his little icon. Yeah, okay. So we'll go up to the apartment. Talk to Sujin. Sorry, when I get upset, my axis looks out a little bit. <laughs> uh, I need to cool it down a, a bit. Okay, um, not exactly sure which apartment. I think it might be this one up here. Oh, we gotta go around. We have 
have to go around. would he be in? That's not him, is it? <laughs> we might have to wait till they wake up. Wait, this is a house? Wait, oh, this is a house. <laughs> I thought that was an apartment. I thought that was an apartment. My bad, y'all. My bad. So there's only one apartment complex because that's a house. Oh, and he's... Oh, I just missed him. Okay. All right. So it said he... Oh, he's moving quick, isn't he? Oh my goodness. All right, well, since we're down here, let's talk to Tifa. I can't believe people still think global warming is a hoax. Same, girl. I actually seen this thing where it said that a lot of people talk about global warming and like believe in global warming, but like at the same time, the earth was once just lava, lava and rock. And the earth can actually get rid of us if it really wanted to. And that just made me think like, man, this that's just, that's crazy, honestly. Like it, it, I'm somebody who believes in global warming and I think we definitely need to protect our earth the best way that we can. But it's like, the fact that the earth could get rid of us if it really wanted to, like, it's, it's crazy. Anyways. Hey, Anna, I've got a weird question for you. Do you have any issues at, at your house with, like, weeds or vines growing in your, uh, bathroom? Can't say that I have. Just me, eh? That's... it's super weird. I genuinely don't know what to do. I want to keep having to clean this every day for the rest of my life. What if I ever brought a girl home? She'd think I'm a total slob. Well, can we help? <laughs> I've got to figure out something, though. I've been single for too long, and this will only solidify my status. Okay, so he's not really saying much. I thought we could help, but I guess not. Um, okay. Alright, let's go to our duties. We've got some duties to attend to. I'll try not to run too much. I guess I okay. I guess I won't really run unless I really have to, or if I'm taking too long to to go somewhere or to get somewhere. Then I'll run. Just a little bit. Um. Okay. Over here, actually. to our bathhouse. Let's open up shop. All right, first things first, making sure these towels are good. What is this? Oh, these are... Dirty towels, huh? Okay. We're gonna do our daily. We're gonna wash these towels. Make sure they are free of mold. Okay. All right, these are clean. All right, cool. Set those down. Let's dry these. Put those there to be dried. And we're gonna go ahead and head to the front. Okay, and we're gonna make sure that we have some wood going. Okay, 
Okay, I wanna I wanna figure out what that means. Okay, so there's no scheme. Okay, okay, gotcha. So let's see. Let, let's see what what happens whenever I put some wood in. I need to figure out how to how the temperature gauge works. Enjoy some ASMR while I concentrate on getting some wood. <laughs> So I guess just when it like goes down, I don't know. I might have to play around with that a little bit more. Okay, now, oh, oh okay, they're dry, they're dry. Okay, we're gonna wait for these. So I want all my towels to be dried before we start our shift, basically, at the bathhouse. Do, 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 do. I'm not appreciating all these like creaks that's happening. Okay, perfect. All right, looks like we are ready to start our start our shift, man. We got to get this place cleaned up though, for real. All right, let's go. Hello, welcome in. Let me take that for you. Lead you right over here. Go ahead and put you right there. I'm about to say, where are our guests? Hello, kind sir. I'll take that. I'll go ahead and place you right there. Enjoy your bath. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. Man. Dang. Wow, oh, that was not a very successful day today. I'm still a rookie. I'm still a rookie. All right, well, we'll wash these. Hopefully the tree will regenerate. Oh, I didn't mean to open that. Okay, let's go see if the tree regenerated its roots. Because if not, then we have an issue. Oh no! Come on, Yen. Oh! Oh, wait, oh, wait, do we have to use our, uh, do we have to go into the spirit realm in order to do that? So we have to go to his apartment, fix the issue by going into the spirit, um, or drinking the spirit tea and then doing it. You don't want to talk? Make sure to leave offerings at shrines around town. Even if you see one that seems abandoned, don't forget to show your respect. It's likely that there's someone there beyond your limited sight. Okay. Okay. So let's see what he says. Okay. Didn't Moby say something about, or didn't Moby say something about <laughs> having strange plants growing around his bathtub? It could be the work of a spirit or the curse of being a slob. He lives in the big apartment building, if I'm not mistaken. Perhaps we should pay him a visit. So do we, okay, question. Do we have to visit him when he's at his apartment? Or, or what? Holy crap, it's a lot of Moogloom. What is it called? Moog, Mugloom? Moogloon? Moogloon? Okay, um, how do I, how do we go into our spirit? Let me see, I have notes. Oh, enter is T-Vision. Okay, it's called T-Vision, okay. 
Gotcha. All right. So if we, um, what, what do we leave as an offering though? Cause there are like a bunch of, please don't hit me. Oh, oh, why are you backing up? Oh, cause he kind of has to, <laughs> who's in this car? Okay. All right. Where is he at? Maybe we don't have to be. Okay, he's at his job. He's at his workplace. Maybe we don't. Ha Maybe he doesn't have to be at um. Here's a shrine. At his place, we'll see. Oh, this isn't a shrine. I thought it was. Okay, let's run a little bit. So these are the apartments. He said he lives in the third building. So we will use the elevator the correct way there you, okay moby's apartment is on this floor his bathtub troubles could be the work of a spirit don't forget you won't be able to see spirits unless you enter your spirit vision with enter okay so i guess i just have to i highly doubt this is well you never know okay not here oh let me close the door <laughs> oh maybe i should have closed that door too <laughs> whoops all right. Oh, oh, this is not Moby's apartment. This is not Moby's apartment. Okay. All right. Aha. Okay. Enter. Wh oh my gosh. You're huge, sir. You look awfully comfy for someone caught breaking and entering. Huh? What did you say? Speak up. I said get out of the tub, you prook. <laughs> oh my, how indecent of you. This spirit has standards, you know. Why are you here? Why wouldn't I be here? This is my home, is it not? This isn't your home, you senile buffoon. Senile? Senile? I don't know. Huh. Who are you calling senile, you fairly levitating fur pig? <laughs> not the back and forth. Wait a minute. I recall calling someone a fur pig before. Many, many times. Eh? Who the hell are you? Ooh. Ooh. You're incredibly annoying. Oh, hello. Fur pig. Fatty fur pig. Oh, you're Wanyan. And I'm... I was called... Morinoba. Well, hello, Mori. Oh my god, you're huge! <laughs> Morinoba, it's really you! It's been so long. I'm glad to see yourself again, though it couldn't have hurt to have remembered yourself a bit younger. Wan <laughs> Yun, my old friend, what happened to me? Why am I in such an unconventional house? And who is this one? This here is Anna. They've been helping me restore things back to normal somewhat. You, like many others, lost your way, but thankfully you're back with us now. No, no, that's not who I meant. I wondered who you are. Yes, you. Oh. Oh, you've, uh, lost me, Morinoba. User, is it? How are you involved in all this? Okay, I'm freaked out. <laughs> I'm freaked out! Aw, oh, geez, she's always going on like this. Get a grip. Your brain's getting to be as twisted as your creepy root legs. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I suppose you could be right. I've not been myself for quite some time now. That was creepy, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, I got the chills. Because who is she looking at? Why was she talking to me? <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, we're getting the bathhouse up and running it. Oh, no, okay. Anyway, like I was saying... We're getting the bathhouse up and running again. You should come by and rest your old bones in a real bath. Who are you calling old? If I recall correctly, you're far older and quite frankly, time has clearly taken its toll. Ho ho ho. I will take you up on your offer though. Ring the bathhouse bell and I'll hear it. Damn hag. <laughs> you can always count on her to cause loads of trouble. Speaking of oversized loads, <laughs> more enough for a large cow. Not all of the spirits you encounter will be as small as Aram and Fa Father Fatherog. Excuse me. Mm. 
You better see Faye about repairing more of those overgrown baths. See Faye? Why would we go talk to her? With more noble spirits showing up, we might quickly run out of space in the baths. Okay, I get you. Oh, you can just float through walls, huh? Must be nice. Okay. Not really sure why we would talk to Faye, but... Oh, let's get out the spirit. Spirit? The tea realm. Alright, so it looks like everybody might be... Oh, she's right here. Hey, it's Anna. Oh, I can't talk to you? I can't talk to you right now, girl? Okay, so if I can get that done by... Oh, you caught me figuring some things out. Oh, ho. Want to do some digging? Want to do some drinking? Actually, never mind. What? Want to do some drinking? Sure, let's head over to Lee's food stall. Oh. Oh, his... Lee's food stall. I'm like, isn't that down here? Okay, wait. Shoo! Let's go, girl! <laughs> Let's see, because I... I was on... Oh, this is a shrine. Which still leads me to my question. What exactly would we... What would we be offering? Oh, there's a lot of people down here. Have you ever seen a baby cloud? I wonder how much moisture has to be up there before a cloud is actually a cloud. No. Do you consume the wine rice? Yes. How do we get her a drink, though? Somebody's drunk. Oh, Tifa! <laughs> Dragonflies are my favorite kind of bug. If I could fly like them, I'd be whipping <laughs> around all over the place, haha. Uh -huh. Can I get you a drink, girl? Do you want to play Sipping Cups? The game will last until midnight. Sure. I've heard these mini games are kind of hard on keyboard and mouse, though, so we'll see. Shake, 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 shake. <laughs> Did I do <laughs> Am I doing it right? Oh, we gotta pour until, like, the cup is filled? Whoa! That was close. <gasps> what? Oh, no. Girl. No. <laughs> I'm good. Hey, thanks for the invite. Let's do it again soon. Sure thing, girl. Midnight. I gotta go now, Anna. See you around. All right, girl. Thanks for hanging with me. I was supposed to go to you for something, but I ended up drinking the night away. <laughs> okay. We're gonna go ahead and head to sleep. Let's see. Let's do here. Oh, oops, oops. Still figuring it out, y'all. Still figuring it out. <laughs> Went drinking with Faye. <laughs> okay. It is Saturday. We're going to do some writing. Maybe helping out some of the spirits and townsfolk will get you in the mood. Oh, okay. Um, well, first, let me go to the shrine. If I'm not mistaken, it was up here. Is this a shrine? No. Where did I see that shrine? Can I see them on the map? Um, hmm. 
What if I just, what if we just went to the one here? Cause there's, oh, there's one. Okay, so. Okay, where do I, where, where does one obtain these? A big red lantern. Maybe I have to go to the store and get it. Oh, hey, Kim. Have you chatted with Sujin at all recently? Apparently, someone drew all sorts of graffiti on her boat. I told her that she could stay with me if she wanted, but she said that she has a... Okay, I think we've already... I think we've already... Okay, so we can definitely go help out um, Su Sujin real quick. And then I think that is a great place to go ahead and end the episode. But we can run. We can definitely run. Let's go this way. Okay, so let us check out. Let's talk to her. Thanks for checking up on me, Anna. I'm just really bummed out and honestly a tiny bit frightened. I've never had someone mess with my property like this before. I went to work at the restaurant as I usually do around 5.30 or so. After my shift, I came home to my beloved lady only to find her covered in crappy drawings and a sloppy paint job. All right, let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. There isn't anything going on. So messing around with your home. It sounds like her boat is being vandalized. Oh, oh, I have to wait until 530. She doesn't work on the weekends, right? I doubt whenever, I doubt whomever is doing this wouldn't risk getting caught unless they knew she was busy elsewhere. Gotcha. So check her. Okay. Okay. I get you. I get you. So... Okay, I think with that, I'm gonna go ahead and end it and then we can help Sujin in the next episode. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Doesn't matter what you're doing, if you're keeping this on in the background, thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And yeah, I will, oh my God, look at the little frog. I just realized the little frog. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Anyways, bye y'all.